On September 15, 2017, the Cassini spacecraft took its final breath. After 13 years orbiting Saturn and delivering the most breathtaking images humanity has ever seen of the ring giant and its mysterious moons, Cassini dove into the planet's atmosphere at over 76,000 miles per hour, its body torn apart molecule by molecule in a fiery death that was, from the beginning, intentional. Join us on the enigmatic journey of why. As we delve into another mystery surrounding, Cassini's last image just scared the world, dot. But before that final descent, Cassini took one last image, a frame that at the time looked like a poetic farewell. Blurry, dark, nearly unreadable, as if the spacecraft knew its end was near. NASA archived it. The world forgot it, until now. Because that final image has just been reanalyzed by a powerful artificial intelligence. And what it found has left researchers speechless. The faint distortion in the lower edge of the frame, it's not a camera glitch. It's not Saturn's clouds. It's something else. Something solid. Something that moves against every expectation of physics and reason. What did Cassini see in its final moments? And why has no one dared to talk about it until now? The Cassini-Huygens mission wasn't just a space probe. It was a monument to human engineering, collaboration, and patience. Launched in 1997, it took nearly seven years to reach Saturn. Once there, Cassini didn't just orbit the planet. It danced with it. For over a decade, it skimmed past moons like Enceladus, dove between rings, and captured storms larger than Earth. It recorded the chemical fingerprints of alien oceans, discovered water plumes that hinted at microbial life, and gave us our first close-up look at the eerie methane lakes of Titan. But even a masterpiece must eventually fall. With its fuel running low and fears growing that it might contaminate one of Saturn's potentially life-hosting moons, NASA made a bold choice, destroy Cassini by plunging it directly into Saturn's atmosphere. This wasn't just a crash. It was a controlled suicide. On its final orbit, Cassini took a series of photographs as it dipped into the upper atmosphere. The last image was taken mere minutes before the signal vanished. At the time, scientists thought it was nothing more than Cassini's final blink, a beautiful, if tragic, closing shot. But that image had secrets. At first glance, the image was disappointing, a dark, grainy scene of Saturn's shadowed hemisphere, partially lit by reflected light from the rings. Cassini's camera systems were degrading, and the conditions weren't ideal. So it was no surprise when NASA, upon reviewing the data, declared it inconclusive. It was filed away, stored in digital archives along with thousands of others, forgotten until 2024, when a group of astrophysicists and data scientists began feeding archival space imagery into a revolutionary new AI model designed to reconstruct low visibility frames. The model could enhance contrast, remove digital noise, and sharpen contours far beyond human capacity. The goal was simple, recover lost information. But when the last image of Cassini was processed, something emerged from the haze that no one expected. It wasn't a flare or cosmic dust. It wasn't camera distortion. It was a shape, something large, consistent, curved, occupying the lower left quadrant of the image, just on the edge of Cassini's descent path. Something that wasn't supposed to be there. As the image was run through multiple filters, contrast layers, and reconstruction passes, the anomaly became more defined, not less. The AI, trained on tens of thousands of cosmic objects, couldn't categorize it. It wasn't a known moon, nor a natural formation. Its symmetry was unsettling. It had edges, angles, a metallic density signature according to pixel heat map analysis. More chilling, the object appeared to be stationary. In the time between the previous image and this final one, just seconds apart, it hadn't moved. It simply waited. And right as Cassini approached it, the transmission cut off earlier than expected. NASA's original prediction had allowed for several more seconds of data flow. Yet, the signal ended abruptly, as if something had interrupted the descent. Could it have been atmospheric turbulence? Maybe. 
Could it have been a timing miscalculation? Possibly. But now, with this shadow clearly visible in Cassini's path, another question takes shape. Did the probe encounter something that NASA never anticipated, something solid enough to alter its trajectory or end it faster? Here's where the story takes a darker turn. Hidden within years-old documents, declassified only through Freedom of Information Act requests, were internal logs mentioning Cassini's anomalous deceleration just before signal loss. At the time, this was brushed aside, explained as natural turbulence due to atmospheric density fluctuations. But now, in light of this enhanced image, that explanation begins to crack. Why wasn't this anomaly mentioned in the public release? Why was the last image dismissed as a mere blur when the raw data showed something so defined? And most of all, why was the AI model's output showing this unidentifiable object flagged by NASA's internal data sharing protocols before it was even peer-reviewed? Some believe it's just scientific caution. Others think it's part of a much larger pattern, an unwillingness to admit that we are not alone in our own solar system. Because if this object was real, and if Cassini encountered it, then it wasn't just the probe that ended in Saturn's skies. It was the truth, plunged into the atmosphere, lost with the signal, buried in silence. After the AI reconstructed the final image, something peculiar happened. It automatically assigned spatial coordinates to the anomaly. Not just an estimation, precise coordinates based on Cassini's known descent angle, orientation, and timestamp. Cross-referencing those values with Saturn's satellite tracking data revealed something stunning, there was nothing there. No recorded object, no debris field, not even atmospheric irregularities. According to all known measurements, that region of Saturn's atmosphere was empty. Yet, the object clearly exists in the image. What's more, it doesn't align with any of Saturn's inner moons or ring debris. It's too low to be orbital, too defined to be gas, and too structured to be dismissed as random pixel error. The shape, oval, symmetrical, partially reflective, correlates more closely with a vessel than a rock. And if that's true, if an unregistered structure hovered undetected within Saturn's atmosphere, we must ask the unthinkable, was it hiding? To ensure it wasn't an error, the research team fed other deep space images into the AI system, including hundreds of Cassini's earlier passes near Saturn. Most showed expected results, clearer storms, better views of rings, faint outlines of Enceladus and Titan. But then a revelation emerged, a pattern. In six separate frames captured years earlier during Cassini's low passes, the AI detected faint, nearly invisible distortions in the exact same sector where the final anomaly appeared. They were brushed off at the time as magnetic field glitches or digital artifacts. But now, when overlaid, they show a consistent position, a ghost signature that remained perfectly still while Saturn spun beneath it. Some now suspect that this anomaly has been there all along, lurking just beyond our resolution. It didn't appear suddenly. It simply revealed itself when Cassini got too close. And once it was seen, the signal ended. As word of the AI's findings spread through closed-door meetings and encrypted emails, theories began to emerge, and none of them are comforting. Some physicists suggest the object could be a quasi-stationary structure, something caught in an unknown gravitational balance between Saturn's upper layers and its magnetosphere. Others speculate it's artificial, the remnant of a probe or a ship not from Earth. But one theory, whispered by a minority of planetary scientists, chills the blood. What if it was waiting? Cassini's plunge was public knowledge for months. Its trajectory was no secret. What if the anomaly, whatever it was, knew the spacecraft was coming? And if so, why let it capture that final image at all? Why allow one last glance, just enough to raise questions, but not enough to prove anything? Perhaps Cassini wasn't simply destroyed by atmospheric pressure. Perhaps it was silenced by something that didn't want to be photographed any closer. There's one final layer to this story. Days after the AI image went public in a quiet academic journal, the web page hosting it was mysteriously taken offline. The research team claimed server maintenance.
but mirrored versions show the original article was tagged by internal metadata labeled, Review Pending External Clearance. That's not standard. That's classified talk. And even stranger, when the image was reposted on independent science forums, accounts sharing it were flagged for misinformation within hours, despite it being sourced directly from NASA's own public data archive. Now, whistleblowers suggest that higher-ups within the agency are aware the image contains something unexplainable, not because they understand what it is, but because they don't. And in the world of science, admitting you don't know is often more dangerous than staying silent. Especially when that silence may be protecting something humanity isn't ready to confront. Cassini's last gift to us wasn't data. It was a mystery, one that the AI dared to decode. And that now, for the first time, the public is finally beginning to see. For years, we believed Cassini's legacy was complete. That it had shown us everything Saturn had to offer, the rings, the storms, the oceans hidden beneath ice. But maybe its greatest revelation was never in its data, but in the silence that followed it. That final image, forgotten in a digital archive, wasn't just a blurred farewell. It was a whisper, a trace of something watching from the dark. Something the AI saw only because it wasn't looking away. So, we have to ask, what else have we missed? What else lies buried in the noise of our past, waiting for us to finally pay attention? Because if Cassini saw something it wasn't supposed to. And if we now have proof that the universe might be far stranger than we imagined, then that changes everything. Not just for science, not just for NASA, but for us. We may not be ready for the answer, but we can no longer ignore the question. Thank you for joining us today on, Why? Let us know your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Keep waiting for another exciting why. Adventure, and until then, stay curious and stay tuned. This is, Why, signing off.